obviously, DJ Malice is on the one twos, bringing us, he brings the vibe to this late night show. He brings that whole vibe. And as you know, what we do is we take your favorite celebrities and social media influencers, we chat with them, we challenge them, and we also see how fast they are up here. And I hope you guys are all tuned in and tuned in onto our social media pages as well on Facebook, on Twitter, as well as on Instagram. Also on YouTube, you can catch the repeat of all of your favorite episodes on there, all your favorite guests, artists, singing, crazy questions, whatever the case may be, give us a call 021-448-0448. Now, as you can see, it's Amapi Hano time right here. Because if you're a soccer player, you must be able to dance. And if you can't dance, why are you a soccer player? Because that moves is yeah, Baba. That moves is yeah. And if you score your goal, you must more celebrate. But the guy's gonna tell us all about celebrations. He is the Cape Town City soccer player. He goes by the name of Tariq Phillies. And he is here to chat with us. We're gonna challenge him, see how quick he is upstairs there as well. Because on the field, you need to make quick decisions. And you need to be able to celebrate. Ce ce celebrate. And as always, what we do is we like to go see what's happening on my timeline where we see some of the most ridiculous videos going around on social media making us laugh today but today's timeline is specifically tailored for our guests today so it's all soccer videos all soccer fails all soccer laughs soccer gags because that is what it is all about so with that being said let's see what's happening on my timeline Yes, people, DJ Malice keeping it mal, keeping it awesome, as always. Always on the ones and twos. I'm a piano today. Special selection for our guest. And like I said, we are spending the day with the one and only Tariq Phillies, Cape Town City player. Um, I did ask him a question off air that I'm going to ask him on air as well. But this is the segment we like to call, What's Trending on My Timeline? And we're looking at football videos, football fails. Um, but very first, I feel like as... As a sportsman, you always expect your teammates to support you. If you take a penalty and you miss, they they can't be the ones saying, my bro, you can't even kick a penalty. <laughs> they should be the ones like, you can do it, you're going to take the next one. If you take a free kick, whatever the case may be. And that is our first video on our agenda today. We support is the number one thing no matter what you're doing. Even if you are bad at it, even if you miss a penalty, or even if you can't dance, like our girl in our video, but the support is gefaarlijk. Check it out. Just a young girl, baby. This is what I'm looking for. That's what's the end of it. It's not that big. But the kid in this, I'm not being too dramatic. That's just what I gotta have it for. I bet you want them goodies. I bet you thought of bop, bop, bop. You know how to find them, yeah. That talk of I'm looking for the goodies. Keep on looking. That, that is support, don't you think? Yeah, that's confidence. Definitely <laughs> confidence. That is what you need to be able to walk onto any field, any stage, and be yourself. And I love the friends. They don't know the words, but they <laughs> they in the like pa -pa -ra -ra -ra. <laughs> cupping it nut, cupping it nut. Now, Tori, I'm sure you know that when you're playing like a derby game or you're playing like one of the close rivals, you know, yeah. in in the league, the fans are very passionate. And if their team lose, the fans can get violent as well. Does that happen to you guys a lot? No, I think uh, the security is very, uh, how can I say, open. 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 Definitely. So yeah, so I think, uh, I think the supporters won't still try to do anything where they was previous. Uh, 
previous seasons ago, we, I won't mention the team, <laughs> but they're from Soweto. Okay, they okay. They came to come play here in Cape Town. Okay. They we are uh, yellow and black, that's all I'm going to say. We're, they, we're not going to say yes, guys. Yeah, they, they demolished our stadium, so we, they threw the seats Hectic. and stuff open. Yeah. But things like that happen. Things like that happen in football. And securities are much more tighter now unless you're playing a Sunday league game <laughs> somewhere where there's no real field. And then it can get a bit hectic, like in this video. <laughs> the main thing I love about that video, I always look for the for the, the good in things story. I don't know. But the main thing I love in the video is how the match continues to, <laughs> yeah, to, to go. The coach is like, hey, forwards, go. leave this guy, forwards, go. So, do you play Sunday League? No, I used to play. I'm not allowed to play anymore. Okay. But we do know that's play. a lie because he's on TV. He does play, but the coach is not supposed to know about it. Um, one thing that is worse, that I hate myself, is when people can't pronounce my name. My name's Riza, simple, Riza. Don't come with your Riza, Riza. <laughs> when he's like, hey Riza. No, I, I hate that. And one thing that I know is that commentators, what they do is they always try and get every detail correct. <laughs> so they won't say Tariq Failis, they'll, they'll say it. The guy is full on Kosa, but he's saying your name in a colored accent, like, hey, put him in it, Tariq Failis. <laughs> But it's worse if they can't pronounce your name, let alone the team's name. Like our next guy, who is actually a news anchor that can't pronounce the names. Now, football. English Premier League. Everton won Manchester United 3. Crystal Palace 4. Leeds United 1. Chelsea 4. The Vision Front United 1. West Ham 1. Fulham 0. San Sunday. West Bromwich, which nil? Tottenham Hot for Space, one. Little Little City, one. Little 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 Nil, a, a strong vi village. Three. Syria, ah. Kanegi, two. Sambudi, nil. Nil. Bidna, what have to? Nil. Spizia, three. Bama zero, Fluminense zero, Liazi one, Liverpool one, Atlanta one, Interesting one, Guinea one, Roma. That is, I am, I, I'm lost for words, Tariq. What do you think of, of, of our videos today? Yo, uh, that what I saw now was very hilarious. It was? We, I think he should step down. I, I think definitely he should step down too. 
Um, and it's, it's, it's definitely crazy times, but we're going to have a chat with you. We're going to have some laughs with you as well. And I thought those football fails is fantastic for us to laugh about today, especially if they can't pronounce not even your name, the actual team's name. Like, you don't even know if your team is playing on <laughs> Sunday or not. Like, you're so confused about what's happening. Let us know what you guys at home think of our football fails on our timeline today. On Facebook, we are Coffee and Comedy with Rizal Forbes. On Twitter, we are at Coffee underscore Comedy TV. And on Instagram, we are at Coffee underscore Comedy. We're going to be right, right back. See you now. <laughs> Yes, people, welcome back to the show. You're still watching Coffee and Comedy with myself, Rizal Forbes, the one and only DJ Malice on the one twos. We are chilling with Tariq Phillies today. He's a Cape Town City player, all the way from Malnerton. Um, currently staying um, in Salt River, I think he said. Um, we are going to have a competition. If you get it right, you might be able to visit him. I don't know. It depends on how he feels. Tariq, welcome to the show, man. Yeah, man. Awesome. Um, congratulations on reaching 100 apps. That is crazy um and i think when you step onto the field the first time um that milestone seems so far and then you play you play you play you play and then you see it's 100 again what what's the feeling like yeah you know uh, when i started i never thought i would get uh, such a lot of game time actually because of the when i arrived there there was lots of competition okay and at the time we had coach benny mccarthy yes and obviously he put his trust in me and without me knowing it, uh, I uh, achieved to uh, manage to get uh, 100 caps for Cape Town City. That is crazy. That is crazy because people are always, well, the football analysts and those things, they are always keeping up with Doric's playing 50 games now. You're like, I thought it's two. What, what happened? <laughs> yeah, you guys are crazy. Um, and then the next thing you know, it's 100 games. And um, you mentioned Benny McCarthy, and it's a question I didn't want to go to, but you mentioned him. Uh, so, Benny McCarthy is a good friend of my uncle's um, and we know him to be very Hanover Parkish, if I should put it that way. Um, there happened an incident on TV <laughs> uh, where, I'm not going to say the exact words Benny used, but there was some sort of a tackle yeah. and words were used that we normally see in movies like Nume Skoli and Four Corners and things like that. Take us back to the moment for you as, as a player. Yeah, I think um, Benny is a very... Uh, he still has that player's mentality as well and he, he's passionate for the game. Yes. And at the time I think we were playing uh, Ajax, well, yes. it was the Cape Derby. Yes. And then a tackle happened on Teko Matisse. And uh, just so Penny ran from his, <laughs> from his area that he must remain in. <laughs> and he ran straight to that player. And at that time when things came out of his mouth, the camera went on he his mouth. Dick. And then obviously uh, everyone knows what he said, but hey. he came with the other story. That, that is, yeah, he was like, no. <laughs> his exact words, I don't know if you saw that incident, but his exact words was, no, I told him he mustn't push. That's, I told him. He mustn't push. <laughs> and we were like, Cape Town, that is a lie. Um, but but what, went, what went through your mind as, as, as players? Because I also saw a video of Pep Guardiola where I think they were also losing and someone took a video in the dressing room and he was like, everyone sit down, sit down now. Da, 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 da. But those are the things that we don't actually see on TV because it's in the dressing room and things yeah. like that. Um, how heated does things get in there, especially with someone like Benny as your, as your, as the manager? Yeah, you know, uh, seeing that uh, he's very passionate and he's a, he's a winner. He doesn't like losing and when you see things aren't going right in the first half and it comes to half time, sometimes you must be scared to go into the hey. <laughs> You know, uh, you're going to hear other kind of language hey. and maybe you're going to get water bottles that go hey. against your face or something. Because that guy, he, he just lost it at wow. times. Wow. 
But I mean, th these are all the stories that we hear. This happened in the locker room and that, and we don't see it. But now Tariq is telling us that these things happen. And we're not just pinpointing Benny. We're saying it happens everywhere um, in football as well. I want to know, you do play for Cape Town City. Um, and that is locally. Um, but obviously, you get at home. You relax. You watch soccer as well. I'm assuming you watch the Premier League. Uh, which team do you support? <laughs> unfortunately, I support Manchester United. <laughs> Why unfortunately though? Because I... I okay, I, I agree with you. I support them as well. But I want to know, how crazy is it as a footballer yourself, watching your favourite team playing, and then they lose or they play junk, and someone playing in your same position, you're like, oh my word, you could have done this and this and this. And then you're supposed to play the next day with confidence, but your team just lost in the Champions League. How weird is that? Uh, I just watch them and the next day I just forget about what they did and I just go on with what I normally do on a daily. That is crazy. You must have a therapist for that because <laughs> I can't have a normal day in my favourite team lost the next day. I'm going to ask you quick rapid questions. I hope you're ready for it. Pizza or Gatsby? Gatsby. Gatsby or Briani? Gatsby. Gatsby or Gatsby? Again, Gatsby. You see, <laughs> that is what happens. There's corruption in this land, people. Would you rather be a movie star or a rapper? Um, a rapper. A criminal. I don't know if you guys heard that. <laughs> Vaughn, did you hear that now? Dog, I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna comment on that. Like, I, uh, I did hear like he, he, he mentioned the wrong words. I heard criminal. I, I heard criminal. And someone broke in laws with my house. He had the same. <laughs> crazy, this is crazy, I'm telling you. Okay, let's move on. Kim Kardashian or Beyonce? Beyonce. Why Beyonce? My crush. You see how we bring things out? Yeah, are you. Are, do you have a partner? Yeah, I do. Does she know so Beyonce's your crush? She knows. She knows. Okay, okay. That is that is crazy hectic. And then another thing I want to know from you <laughs> before we, we, we move on to a break and um, play our game is how good are you with handling press conferences and things like that? Because normally when players play and eventually they retire, they want to become a manager. Is that goals for Tori? Well, what I see our coach is serious, so I don't think I want to go into that field. Why not though? That is like... <laughs> no, they come with black and they leave with grey. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. They come with black and they leave with grey. We're going to play a game after the ad break called Bad Press Conferences. Um, and, but just before we actually dive into that, um, what is your favourite moment um, watching press con conferences, whether it be locally or internationally? Certain highlights. Are you familiar with a guy by the name of Jose? Mourinho. Yes. Yeah, I'm familiar with him. Uh, what goes through your mind when you see a press conference like Jose's? Because he, he's like, he's basically the Portuguese Benny McCarthy, if you think about it. Um, but what goes through your mind, especially, like I said, you're watching a game, things are happening, um, and he says this and this and this of a play, because he's blunt and straightforward. Yeah. What goes through your mind as an actual footballer yourself? Sometimes I think he's very cocky. You think so? 100%. Soccer players is cocky to me. Not all of them. Because when you celebrate, you're like, ha ah, ha I'm the O. Do you guys practice celebrations as a team? I think there is some players that practice it, and sometimes you, people that you don't expect to score, they, they never and then like, practice. I didn't practice what? <laughs> Tori, <laughs> how do I celebrate now again? You must scored last week. <laughs> We're going to take a quick ad break. When we do come back, we are playing bad press conferences with the one and only Tori. Please do let us know on social media if you are enjoying the show and also what you'd like to see more on Coffee and Comedy with myself, Bizarre Corpse, on Facebook, on Twitter, as well as on Instagram. The repeat of this episode plays on Tuesday morning between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8.30. See you after this. Yes, 
welcome to it. You're still watching Coffee and Comedy with myself, Bizarre Forbes, and the one and only, the amazing King Miles, DJ Miles himself. We are still spending the night with Tariq Phillies, and we're going to play a little game called Bad Press Conferences. Um, he says he doesn't want to become a manager, but he'll be a manager on tonight's episode. And if he does change his mind in the future and he becomes a manager, then we trained him, we prepared him for the questions, for the bad bad questions and also we want uh, money also in the future because <laughs> we you must pay most your pap geld that's what they call it okay Tori. so we're gonna play this game i'm gonna ask you a couple of tough random silly questions that you might laugh at or whatever but you need to be in that zone you the yeah. manager it's the club now it's big we're gonna call your club coffee and comedy fc you the manager i'll be the news reporter and whatever comes your way, you must do as the manager do. You can't laugh. Try your best not to laugh at the yeah. question. And yeah, are you ready? All right, guys, we are now with the new manager of Coffee and Comedy FC, Mr. Tariq Phillies himself. Uh, just a couple of questions after the game. Your team did lose. It is your debut. Uh, your team lost 16 0. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, um, you know. Uh at training, uh, the, the training before the match, uh, our main striker, he injured his ankle and unfortunately I had to play uh, his normal size, size 8, he had a right foot, uh, size 8 and the swollen ankle he had to wear a 10, so yeah, so things didn't really go well, so I think it's uh, due to some uh, minor injuries and yeah, we can hopefully focus on the next game. Hopefully the next game you guys can lose a bit less. Uh, it looks like it's going that way because you 10 0 today, maybe 5 0 tomorrow. I don't know. There is a rumor though that the whole coaching staff had coronavirus and then four players died because we didn't recognize four of the players on field today. What happened there? Yeah, unfortunately we lost uh, a few of our members and we had to now promote of our academy. So yeah, uh, they're still getting used to the system and hopefully uh, next week they can be in the swing of things and be ready with us. Awesomeness. And then just another question uh, also to the club. The captain of the team, um, as you know, you know, you're footballers, you're always in the press, always, people always know what you're up to. Normally we see him on like TV shows and websites, you know, but we saw him on an adult site last week. What, what happened there? And apparently you gave the go ahead. You said it's more pu publicity. Yeah, you know, uh, some people, uh, most players, they get sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's his endorsement. <laughs> okay, okay. Lovely endorsement going there. Uh, is there any chance that you could sponsor us maybe with those endorsements? It's really great. What are the plans coming for the next match? You guys are playing in the Champions League. Uh, the fake one happening in Philippines next week. Uh, what are the plans? What is it looking like seeing that you're also playing a couple of players that uh, recently just are in wheelchairs? Yeah, you know, uh, they're starting to call us now the Paralytics Club. <laughs> but uh, hopefully we can pull off uh, something special and give the fans uh, a smile on their face and possibly win the game for them. 100%, that's what we like. And then just a question to you, Mr. Manager. Uh, you are also insured without insurance. The incident that happened with the guy and his wife, apparently the news came out that you were involved as well. Apparently you were sleeping with four of the other club uh, managers' wives. What happened there? They all came out on Twitter and they said it definitely is so. No, uh, you know, uh, most people don't know that I have a twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it could possibly be him. Cape Town, that is a lie. We know it is definitely him. What are the plans to expand the club? Um, to get better because you guys did get sponsors now as well. Um, previously, you guys were training at your backyard at home. Uh, you guys did get sponsors now as well. You're training now at the neighbor's yard. Tell us about the sponsorships. Yeah, I think it's all part of the transformation. Uh, we moved now to the neighbor's yard. We, they have a much bigger yard. I'd say the small space where we can just home up. And yeah, so uh, a, a small thing's taking place and hopefully we can get better. Awesomeness, I love that. And then before we let you go, we got information that you get your tactic, tactics by playing FIFA. Yeah, uh, I find my tactics there, you know. Uh, so uh, there's lots of things that I can get from FIFA and 
I don't have my papers yet, but I'm getting it. I'm getting it online, so I'm doing I'm doing the most. Online courses for his managerial job, ladies and gentlemen, to Arik Phillies. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a really, really wonderful show. Shout out to DJ Mullis for doing the ones and two. What did you think of Torik on the show today? No, no, I, I enjoyed that, bro. I enjoyed it. Do you think it. you can make Especially it as a manager? The, the, like, nah, the, the answers you were given was like totally unexpected, you know, because we all expected you maybe not to actually give exactly. like good at answers, you know, but exactly. actually good. Now you I know why he doesn't want day, to bro. actually be a, a, a manager because answers like that. We are going to be back on the TV screen, same time, same place. Do not go anywhere. It is our Forbes, Torik Phillies, as well as King Mullis. We are out of here. Oh, son,